I'm going to meet Jay Hutton, the geezer from Tattoo Fixers. I haven't got any tattoos myself, so there's no ink going on me today. But I'm going to meet him, say hello, put him for a workout, and go and cook a post-workout meal with him. Hello, mate. How are you doing? How are you doing, mate? Yeah, you good? Yeah, good. Nice to meet you, mate. Nice to meet you, too. How are you? We're going to do a workout together, yeah, today? Yeah. What's yeah. your cardio fitness like? My fitness isn't up to scratch. So I thought, <laughs> do a bit of the stuff you like, which is the weights and all that, because yeah, yeah. you're a big old unit. <laughs> and then we'll come over here and finish up with a little hit session. Yeah, right, yeah. Definitely. Get a good old sweat on, and then don't try and put a tattoo on me, right? <laughs> we'll see. I'm we'll a see. clean canvas. See what you do to me. <laughs> I've watched your show a few times, obviously. Yeah. It's amazing what you do. You can do you know what, some though, shocking like, tattoos up. We do, but like, you think it can't get any worse, and it always does. My little brother, he's got some naff tattoos, right? Right. Like, his first tattoo was, um, it's a it's his girlfriend's lips on a lipstick tattooed on his like waist. Are they still together? No, of course they're not. <laughs> He's an idiot. He'll end up on your show, mate. That's it. That weight all right? Yeah, yeah, cool. What's that one on your legs say there? Scarface. When you want to be a tattoo artist, you've got to sacrifice the leg, that's what I was told. I see you've done it yourself. Oh yeah, but since when I was about 19, when I thought it was big and cool. All right. And uh, yeah, and it actually looks like, because it's a cartoon, it looks like Frank Skinner. <laughs> It's a mess, it's an absolute mess. Right, so next up then, done a bit of the legs, let's get chesty. Yeah. We, all have a, we all have a little bench press, don't we? So yeah. we do, <laughs> we'll do a little bit on here. <laughs> when you're working the hours you are, you need the energy, you need, the, you need to be alert and productive yeah. and focused. So it's important that you eat the right foods, and that's the thing. Some people, you know, just live off fake energy, like sugar drinks and... Do you do much cooking yourself, or...? No, nah, do you know what, mate? I can't, I can't even crack an egg. Really? Nah. Someone somewhere's cooking you food or giving you something healthy, right? <laughs> <laughs> I normally eat tuna and pasta, but you don't cook tuna. Who do you live with? I live with my mum and dad. So they cook them? Yeah, my mum cooks, but you know, I'm, I'm, they're not like fitness freaks, so I'm not eating healthy foods. This is what I'm saying. I'm trying to get into some sort of health regime, and I'm hoping you're going to help me. <laughs> yeah, mate, it's all about the cooking. We're going to cook a meal after this. Yeah. Really nice peppered steak, sweet potato wedges, and it takes about 15 minutes as well. Really? Easy. Yeah, quick and easy, mate. I don't mess about. I haven't got time to be spending hours in the kitchen. Me neither. So, done a little bit of resistance training. Yeah. Now my favourite, this is what I'm all about, HIIT training, so high-intensity cardio. This is where you're going to kill me. It's only 20 seconds, remember? Three, two, one. I am rest, good. Well done. I feel like I'm going to die. Go 17. <laughs> good, let's work. So get your feet up. Sit. Let's go, push. Three, two, one. Wow. Can't even breathe. Let's make things a little bit tougher. We'll go up one incline as well. Uh, let's go. 20 seconds. Come on, push. All right, last little push. Five seconds. Four, three, two, one. Wow. Ah, rest good. Good man. Nice, oh, tough. Right, so, mate, after you exercise, you want two things, like protein and carbs. Yeah. So I'm going to make sweet potato fries yep. and a nice big, big old juicy steak. <laughs> this is all new to me. That's what you know we're cooking, it. Tuna chunks in Brian. <laughs> you just open that and eat from the tin. Yeah. You're literally eating like a 16-year-old. You just walked in from school, and all you can make is, is, um, is, is like, tuna and pasta. I'm a 16-year-old boy trapped in a 26-year-old man's body. How's that little steak and chips then, all right? Amazing job. Next you. time I come and meet you, or you got to at least post a picture on Instagram or Twitter of one of the meals, I want to see you actually cook a recipe. Yeah. <laughs> Next time you come down, I'll let my mum know you come in so you can cook you a meal. <laughs> yeah. Do you like curry? <laughs>